everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be uh, what I got for Christmas slash what I bought with my Christmas money haul. So two things before I start, excuse the fact that I'm wearing my dressing gown, it is actually one of the things that I got with my Christmas money but I will go on to that in a little while. And then the second thing is that this isn't a beautiful video, I'm really lucky that I've got some lovely presents from my family members but I would just rather have them to be honest and I asked on Instagram and lots of people, pretty much everybody says yes they would love to see something like this so I'm going to get right into it. So I'm going to start with what Mark and the kids got me and the first thing that Mark chose for me because he a dream is a bottle of the Marc Jacobs Daisy perfume. This is like one of my favourite scents um, for obvious reasons. Obviously we have a daughter called Daisy but I ran out quite a while ago and I've really missed it and he got me a bottle and I'm so chuffed with that. And then he also got me a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick and this is in the shade American Sweetheart. Now normally the lipsticks I wear are like matte most of the time but I had my eye on this one and he got it for me and it's got a nice sheen to it. Really really creamy on the lips and I think it would suit everybody. It's a nice peachy pink shade. He also got me a box of Lush bath bombs because he knows that I love them and I've used a couple of these already but this is the set that includes um shoot for the stars golden wonder christmas sweater and thunder snow and i've got golden wonder here left and thunder snow so that's the one that's shaped like a parcel and um, thunder snow looks a bit like a planet to be honest but Mm, they smell really nice and I may actually treat myself to a bath tonight because I absolutely love baths when I'm pregnant. He also got me two candles because he knows me very well and knows that I love candles and he got me these two. There's, these are from, are they Lily Flame? Yes, they are. And he got me Daisy Dip, bless his heart. And this is quite like floral and spring-like and I'm trying to hold on to this one until it warms up a little bit. And then the other one that he got me is Fairy Dust, which we have burning in our living room at the moment. And that smells a bit like baby powder and sweeties. It's really, really nice. And then he also got me Nigella's at my table. I'm a big, big foodie, love cookery books, always have done. And I've already cooked a few recipes out of this and it's really, really good. And we watched the series in the run up to Christmas as well. So I was really touched that he noticed that I'd been enjoying it and got me this. There were a few other bits as well, but like little things, I just thought I'm not gonna show all the little stuff or like chocolate because I'm pretty much eating it all. But I'm gonna move on to some other things now. So because I am a little old lady, Lady, when my parents asked me and Mark what we wanted for Christmas, we, we actually both said frying pans because we have some old frying pans, but you know when you get non-stick ones and eventually the non-stick part wears down, it sucks and things like stick to the pan more and they don't cook as nicely. And my mum picked both of these up and they are from a brand called Fizzler, I believe, and we've been using them obviously and they're so, so good. They're from HomeSense, which I'd really recommend checking out if you're looking for like homeware stuff on the cheap because you can get much better quality for a lot less money. But we have like a small one, which is really, really good for like frying eggs and stuff. And then we have a larger one as well and they have just completely changed our cooking world and then as well as that my parents also gave us a home sense voucher and obviously this voucher you can use at home sense and tk maxx so we went back today and bought some other things for the kitchen just that we felt like we really needed and we're going to throw a load of old bits out that don't work very well anymore or they're all mismatched and stuff like that so the first set of things that we got were these jamie oliver wine glasses and they are a set of four and what i really really liked about them is that they have this really really thick stem and they're quite short they almost remind me of like those beer glasses for like half pints but I just thought they were really nice and they're dishwasher safe and I thought right they're gonna last a lot longer because sometimes when they have longer narrow thin delicate stems they tend to break and I feel like these are going to last and I just really really liked the design of them and I cannot wait to use these once I've had this baby boy and raise a toast and have a nice glass of wine because I have missed it so much and these were only 9.99 which I thought was really good value. Then we brought some more kitchen bits and I got a Pyrex muffin tray so this is a magic non-stick really easy to use and I quite liked how like sturdy it felt and I like the fact that they're dark as well and I've never had a Pyrex one before so this was $6.99 and then we got some roasting bits from a brand called Tala and these are so 
heavy and robust and they are double layered non-stick coating oven proof and then fridge freezer and dishwasher safe and they are a robust commercial weight and this was 7.99 this is the roasting pan so like for roast dinners or you could even put like a lasagna or shepherd's pie in here it says so i thought that'd be really really versatile and then we also picked up two of these tala baking trays again the same sort of thing like good for brownies swiss rolls it says flapjacks biscuits you could put like your chips on here or something and these were 7.99 each and we got two of them because we thought they would just be really useful then from my brother and his girlfriend they actually picked out this neon tranquility set and it's english lavender sweet basil and jasmine and it smells so so relaxing we have um a diffuser like reed diffuser as part of this set which is in our bedroom that I didn't carry down because I didn't want to like spill it but it also came with a candle as well and I've been burning this very sparingly because it's just so so nice um and that was really really thoughtful of them to get me that because they know at this stage like it's hard to relax isn't it when you've got kids let alone being pregnant and then another thing that they got us which I have to be really careful to show you because it will give away this baby boy's name it is oh this and it is a little photo frame from the white company and it has one two three little slots and they picked out photos of bill so there's like one of bill and one of daisy and then this says reserved for baby boy's name and mark and i opened this it was for the both of us and mark got like a separate present as well and we were both like oh that's so so lovely and we've got it in our living room at the moment and it makes me smile every time i walk past it because it made me realize i'm gonna have three kids soon which is quite exciting so as i mentioned i'm not I'm going to show everything that I got but there were a few little presents that I thought I would show that were either really funny or really cute and the first thing is that my auntie Debbie and uncle Jeremy got me this and this is a sprout notepad yes ladies and gentlemen they do exist and I love this because I am obsessed with sprouts yes I'm one of the very few people that actually really like them around Christmas time and all year round and it's just it really made me laugh so I have to show you this now my grandparents gave me money but they also got me this as well like we have this tradition in my family where we get each other little presents for around the table after Christmas dinner and one of the things I got from my grandparents was this and it's a Kath Kidston manicure set in the scent Meadow Posy and you get a little nail for a hand cream and a cuticle cream and this smells so so nice I'm really into my hand cream at the moment I just feel like I have to put it on every night before bed and this is so lovely and such a sweet little gift to get and then I was really really touched by this because my mum isn't into makeup at all she knows I am she thinks I'm ridiculous for the amount of money I spend on it sometimes but she made the effort of picking me this little set from 17 and it's an easy on the eye eyeshadow palette but I really really like it I'm wearing the shades on my eyes today I've got this dusky pink in the crease and then the golden shade on my lid and it on the back it comes with like ideas of how to use it and things like that and a little leaflet inside as well with techniques and a little brush and I just thought I'd share that because it can't have been too expensive and it was just such a nice little set to get and the pigmentation's really nice as well so good job mum and dad and then because my mum and dad know that I'm an avid reader they also got me this which is the Stalker or Stalker by Lars Kepler and I've already read it it was that good I've recommended it over on Instagram so if you haven't read this already definitely check it out because I thought it was really really good so as I mentioned I did get a lot of money from certain family members just because I asked for it because I think it's really tricky to buy for a pregnant lady I really really do um obviously we bought the things from home sense that I've showed you just before from the voucher that my mum and dad gave us but we also popped into TK Maxx and bought this baby boy in my belly some bits as well so if you want to see what I got from there there'll be a baby haul coming up very soon so make sure you subscribe or you just look out for that but then with the rest of the money I got myself some things just for me that I had my eye on or really fancied and the first thing that I got is this dressing gown that I mentioned at the start and this is actually from Topshop and it was in the sale and it's like a shaggy teddy kind of dressing gown it's super cozy it has ears on the hood as you'll have seen and it's like a very very pale pink and then white fleece lined and it was reduced from something like 32 36 pounds to 18 and I absolutely love it so it's definitely worth checking out the sale still if you haven't already because there are some real gems in there then obviously youtube is my job and i'm really really fortunate for that but things are going really really well for me work wise at the moment which is such a blessing and i wanted to be really really organized for 2018 especially with having another baby come along like i want to make sure that i don't 
lose track of everything and you know fall behind and i got myself these so this is a planner from dot creates and it's specifically for bloggers and vloggers now if you're not a blogger or a vlogger another brand that i can really recommend i think dot creates has some like non-blogger ones as well but kiki k is really worth checking out as well for like family diaries and stuff and this is just fantastic because it has like you know a year layout here has like stickers and then you can fill in the dates yourself and special times of the year and ideas that you've got for like videos and blog posts and stuff and i just i feel like it's making me really organized and it means that any feedback you guys give me i can make note of in here and do the content that you really like to see and then because who doesn't love stationery i bought myself a massive set of stabilo um pen draw different colors i love this lilac one here the best it's really really nice and i just thought this would make me a little bit more excited to fill everything in and they were quite cheap from amazon the next thing i got was this and it's a selfish mother jumper that you may have already seen me wearing in some other videos because i'm obsessed and i already have one of these in gray that i got a couple of years ago now and i've worn it to death and i will still keep wearing it but i really found fancied getting a new one and when I saw this pink one it was love at first sight it's the most lovely raspberry pink shade and money from all of these purchases go towards a charity I think it's for women's refuge and I got it in extra large because I like my jumpers and my hoodies really baggy and obviously I've got a huge bump at the moment but it's just the way I like to wear them where it completely covers my bum and I can wear them with leggings and like trainers and just dot around the house in them. But it's so, so comfy and it definitely worth checking out if you haven't seen that brand already because it's just great. I also got myself a really nice sort of sporty, relaxed set of underwear from Topshop, which is very Calvin Klein-esque. So it comes with briefs here, like a kind of sporty style and then this crop top, which will be really comfortable for me now and then obviously later on when I'm breastfeeding and things like that. And what I really like about it is it has a mesh back and it just looks really nice on it's super comfortable so i've got those as well and then i also picked myself up some books now one book hasn't been released yet so it's been released on thursday so i'll insert like a picture of that here i'm really excited for that one to come because it's got rave reviews but i also picked up sister sister by sue fortin I picked up The Rose Petal Beach by Dorothy Coomson, one of my most favourite authors. I love her. And I also got The Breakdown by B.A. Paris. I've read a book um, called Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris before. Loved it. So I thought I would get this one as well. And they are all quite thriller-esque or a little bit mystery and I just love books like that so I'm really excited to get stuck into these. And then finally I made an order in the Body Shop Boxing Day-esque sale and I got a very similar scent and you can probably tell what I like the smell of at the moment. The first thing I got was the almond shower gel and this is just, I just love this scent. I'm really, really into it at the moment. And I also got a little mini almond hand and nail manicure cream. So I've got a big one of these at the moment and I love it. And I thought this would be good for like in my handbag or changing bag and stuff like that. Then I got a mini almond milk and honey um, body butter. I wanted a larger one, but they hadn't got any left in stock and I just thought I'll get the mini one because they were all super, super cheap. And then the big one that I did manage to get my hands on is the Honey Mania one. And I really love these body butters and I've been using them on my bump a lot because I just feel like they smell really nice and I think if you're going to get stretch marks, you're going to get them no matter what you do. But I just really enjoy using these. And then on a baby note I suppose I got myself this little set which is the almond milk and honey set and this was reduced in the sale and I thought I would actually keep this for my hospital bag so in here I have an almond milk and honey shower gel an almond milk and honey um, hand cream and then also a mini body butter again and I think having these for after I've given birth are going to make me feel so so nice about myself like they're a gentle scent they're not too strong and that kind of milky honey scent kind of makes me think of babies anyway so I'm really excited that I managed to pick this up and it's worth having a look around or if you've got like a friend that's expecting a baby, if you can see one of these in the sale, grab it for them because it's such a nice little thing to get. But yeah, that is everything and I think I was really, really lucky to be spoiled so much and there are some lovely things here that I'm going to enjoy and I hope you all had a fab Christmas. Can you believe that we're already like a week into 2018? I think it's crazy. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye.